Okay, it's backwards and I'm gonna turn it around and look at it in three, two, one. Oh. It's snowing out here. It's, it's quite cozy if you can imagine it. Can you hear it? Four score and several years ago, Robin made a portrait of me. It was a hoodie Mona Lisa, a mashup, um, and I looked quite handsome. <clears throat> a couple years ago, Robin wrote a book. She decided to use my image to create a sample project in which she never actually finished the painting. So here we are these years later, and Robin is going to attempt... Shh, no. So here we are these years later. <clears throat> On a personal level, I don't see why it would be any better. For one, Robin hasn't taken any art classes that I know of since she made the last one, and it's not like she's a magician or something. For two, the other one was bigger, and I think my face looks good when it's big. So today, let us both venture into the creation of Hoodie with a Pearl Earring. I'm excited to see the results, and I hope that you enjoy Robin's attempt to best her last portrait. Oh, also, Robin said she didn't introduce the dog last time, so um, I'll show you Jack. Jack? YouTube? YouTube Jack. He's a very good boy. He was adopted. He's two and a half, and if you know what possible breed he is, let me know. Whew. Thank you for that introduction, Hoodie. I am actually currently cuddling Jack as we speak, so if you hear any random looking noises or whatnot, just know it's not me. This painting was started actually for my book, which only came out uh, less than a year ago. Thank you very much, Hoodie. It has been a while since I began this initial demonstration, and I thought it was about time we finished out the actual image. It was really nice as a process because I got to start with a transfer drawing and black shading in acrylic paint already completed, so everything from there just had to do with color. Now, this is when I posted my first work in progress picture to my Instagram, and right away I got such a nice message saying this was a favorite painting I'd ever made and uh, yeah after that it's just a question of not messing it up right I'm gonna show you a couple progress pictures and updates we get from that same user later and it started a question in my head that I honestly would love to get your feedback on so be sure that as we talk about it you leave me some feedback in the comments I think it's probably something a lot of us artists think about but for now, I am working with oil paints on hoodie with a pearl earring. This is, of course, inspired by a much older painting not done by me called Girl with a Pearl Earring. In this, I created a mock-up image in which we posed hoodie, combine it with the original classic painting, and then it's just a matter of filling things away. I did go through a lot of different stages with this where I was developing it more and as I did that it took it away from the initial uh, impressionist, stylistic, soft and more painterly quality that was in that first progress picture and started making it more detailed and refined. I am dropping in with an important update on this paintbrush. I realized I couldn't do the painting the way I wanted to without a smaller brush and I decided to cut hairs off of a small paintbrush to make a tinier point. And my gosh, did it make a difference. It was really useful. This is kind of a new hack for me. So if you need to do this, I would recommend it for sure. Using this tiny brush gave me exactly what I was talking about, this amplified ability to really hone in on my details. This is only a five by seven image as Hoodie so lovingly has pointed out. That means there are certain difficulties, especially working on a canvas board and in tiny detail, there's texture on the surface of my board. So using this cut down paintbrush really increased what level of detail work I could get into. 
that again is a questionable good or bad thing. Uh, I am happy with being able to keep working on this piece. I wanted to see what it would look like if I fully fleshed out the details and tried to make a really highly rendered image. But I'm curious what y'all think because it changes the character and style of the work a lot. And when I show you some of the later progress pictures and you think about the comparison to that first image I showed you, you end up having a very different piece. Shh. Uh, calm down. Lay down. Where was I? The joys of new parenthood. You know what I mean? I kept it really original to the piece in terms of the clothing, colors, detail work, even added little dots of color. And I wanted to make sure it had the vibrant pearl. This is working in a style with... <laughs> There's too many animals here. No, Jackie. What are you doing? What is in your mouth? Okay. I tried to keep it really close to the original in terms of the dramatic contrast of light. This is specifically known for having a really dramatic black backdrop, dark shadows, and then using highlights on the earring and coming across the face to create a more overall theatrical look. Around this time is when I posted a four picture side by side of some of the progress points along the making of this image and even though I did paint on further than that last one I did get a message hearing that still number one was the favorite image of that user and it made me question when am I perfection seeking and losing the painterly essence that makes a piece really good? Am I pushing myself so far on some pieces that they're not actually improving? I'm really happy with how this came out. It's nice to see a piece pushed, but it does start the idea that maybe I'm going to challenge myself, create time limits sometimes on pieces to see what else that creates when you approach differently. Tell me your thoughts. I want to hear them and let's show Hoodie this pic. Seems you and I have both come here for one purpose and one alone. The sole purpose of seeing my final form, hoodie with a pearl earring. So as soon as Robin shows up, we will we'll do that. Aha, uh -huh, I see you have something for me. It's backwards and I'm gonna turn it around and look at it in three, two, one. Why, that's actually really nice. Do I look that good? That's pretty hecka. You know, maybe you have gotten a little bit better without the art lessons. Though, again, I'm gonna have to say it pretty tiny compared to the last one. So you did some interesting color things. You're making some choices. I approve. I love it. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. You know, I would love to keep this, but I I'm pretty sure some of you would be interested in it. So, um. If you want to purchase this, you can check it out on Robin's website. That is robinsealark.com. And I think she's going to have prints available this time. Oh, an actual print release. It's cheaper and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I'm glad to see y'all on YouTube. Uh, if, if you're new to me, you know, subscribe. Uh, check out Robin's socials at Robin Sealark. And we'll see you later, dude. Bye. Did you want to... Oh, sorry.